the network. Our next topic is something we always tend to talk about is what's going on at Spotify. Every month we have a little <laughs> a little chat about them. Um, yeah. um, back in January we were discussing um, Marquee, which we're going to come on to very shortly. But what I want to do first is that there's been a lot of reports floating around over the past month that Spotify is working on adding music videos into its app. There's been reports that in the code now, in the app code, there is like a, an extra like button and feature where video would go you could swipe across from music and from um podcasts and there'd be video so they're now speculating that there might be some videos being added we obviously know that the joe rogan podcast deal is happening and there's going to be video on spotify like exclusively so they're going to have to put that functionality in anyway so are they going to push the wheel and include more videos and that's what it looks like because they've already started doing it for adverts in the US, UK and Canada, you can now run video ads on the platform and they've been doing very well. Um, 50% of advertisers use the tool. It was only 11% in March. Um, Wait, so how many, what videos are they showing already? Just, you know, like the, the adverts, the, the audio ads you can get on the platform, on Ad Studio. You're, you're oh, the long ads, okay. I and, now, and, now, and now they're doing like actual video ads. You can now promote think you can now promote products or, or well, what are they showing the video ads on i'm saying have they actually started using them or you're just saying now they have the ability to but when joe rogan comes is when they'll actually start running. no they've been they've been using them it'd be like the you know where the canvas plays you have a little looping oh, videos they get played in that interesting interesting I haven't noticed that see so 50 percent of advertisers have been using this tool now and apparently a lot of spot for users are using it with a sound on not just muted because you can mute the sound on the ads on the video ads um according to them that they've got a 1.9 percent ad recall with 2.2 times 2.2 times increase in brand awareness according to company stats so the advertisers seem to love it it's a much improvement on the audio aspect um so with the fact they're doing these video ads now it does seem natural progression that we're going to get more video content on the platform more for more podcasts and for music videos and it's just another case of we never quite know which direction Spotify's heading in one minute it wants to be, you know, all in on audio, the Netflix of audio. But now here we are again, tapping back into video. They tried to do it in the past, like four or five years ago. They bought a lot of startups that were in that space. Um, and also you did an op-ed recently discussing the future of Spotify and what it needs to do to try and survive with the threats of TikTok and Rezo. But I don't, um, video wasn't really sort of like on our radar again no it wasn't but i'm not surprised because video only makes sense when it comes to the leverage that they're trying to build in the podcasting space because a lot of people watch podcasts i watch podcasts like when i first started listening to a lot of the podcasts that i watch most of them i actually started watching them on youtube yeah i've never I still haven't listened to a Joe Rogan podcast. I've watched many of them on YouTube and then sometimes like listen to while I walk around and use it like a podcast, Joe Budden podcast, same thing. I watch a lot of, I watch a lot of long form content slash listen, like do both. So it only makes sense. And then if you're going to do it from the anchor point of a Joe Rogan, then why not start to test out the recommended you know, your recommendation and then and, and see what those stats can really look like. You have to use this opportunity and this window to, you know, feed it back in because I know they know the value of a video. That's why they tried it before. And just because they weren't, they kind of failed doesn't mean that they, they uh, don't think it's valuable anymore. They just knew that whatever route they were taking wasn't right or the timing wasn't right so mm -hmm. they know the value of it this is they, it looks like that this is their way in yeah i think the podcast route has to be the way in because music videos obviously they're not anything new other platforms offer that but if you can now get exclusive podcasts that have the videos for you to watch you're actually going to get people more engaged with staying on the app rather than locking their screen exactly because music videos which is what they were focused on that wasn't really all that interesting anyway the music yeah. videos don't have the the appeal they used to. No, exactly. I 
I don't even know. Yeah, how many? <laughs> there's so many songs that I listen to, and there's so mu- few music videos I've seen this year. You know, um, so it, that's a part of it. And they probably so moving off of that traditional concept, but probably discovering what I just said that they don't have the appeal that they used to, and they make sense for a platform like YouTube, where everything is video, and then music video just happens to be a part of it. But a main behavioral driver, like a show, is is a completely different thing. I'm um, also you mentioned those ads. I'm not really impressed with the stats, although they are good. They're early, right? And yeah, very very early. Yeah. So a huge part of that is just the the fact that people aren't used to it, right? Just like any other platform. Oh, I'm not used to ads on my email, and now I'm used to ads on my email. And 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 now it's harder to get people to open their email. Oh, I'm not used to this Facebook ad thing. What's going on? And Facebook ads are extremely cheap. Then they drive up Google ads. It, it happens. That's just a, the cycle. Um, so that's a huge part of it. You're going to have that when you have a newer platform uh, or a newer, newer way of advertising on a platform and you have limited advertisers, whether that's due to selection or due to natural selection through financial limitation right that either way it goes there's a it's a small sample size um but hopefully they continue to you know make it comprehensive but i think it'll still follow that natural curve um but they are more natural to do ads around podcasting as well too then the so I, I think Spotify is in a in a strong position. They're really w- wiggling their way out of their music mishaps. Let's put it that way. And, and it's through yeah. every and they're finding their way back through everything but music. I would like to see them focus more less on music videos and more on little artist interviews and documentaries on exclusive to the platform. Because obviously yep. Spotify's got an, an insane amount of access to these artists. So you can have then the film vertically, you know, interview clips and weave them in with playlists of artists. So you're playing their songs, then one of their like interviews or a documentary will come on. It's been made by Spotify. And yep. that just, that would be so much more valuable, I think. It would be so much more interesting for them. And it's something they can easily do as well. And just like, obviously, if you follow artists, you can get notifications saying I've just dropped an interview with so and so or a new extended documentary. Because the Apple Music beats one docs are very very popular in interviews and i feel like they should tap more into that and that would be yeah just much better than music videos yeah they have the leverage to the infrastructure might be more natural once the podcasting thing is fully set up and the video is is really um put in there i would be more interested to see stuff like that should keep it on with it's the network